Ding Academy is the only school that specializes in software engineering in the country. Students that study in it are selected based on their academic performance. Since its official opening in February 2019, it has enrolled 118 students in their fourth and fifth years of secondary education. In terms of learning and teaching, a student spends time in projects and discoveries individually or in small groups, and the teachers do the guidings. Rwanda Coding Academy was conceived in the light of the country's aspirations to have a knowledge-based economy, especially in technology field, but also to be the basis of regional technology, according to the director of the school. Our goal is to ensure that our children qualify for both the local and international market. We want them to be the East African Regional Foundation. It means that we can not only stay here in Rwanda, but also in international countries. Eligible students in this model school must have performed very well in all level national examinations, especially in mathematics, science and English. The students are proud of the school and the skills they have been given. We want to manufacture a vehicle that needs no driver. The vehicle will be able to detect if something is near in order to stop so that it won't hit anything. The students in this school are confident of becoming experts in computer programming. I want to become a data scientist, especially in mining, payment, and in health sector, because when you see ideas we keep on having in what we implement, we are really doing good. The Rwanda Coding Academy provides secondary level education, but with the knowledge it provides and the level of teaching, you might think it is a university. The quality of education provided in this school is also emphasized by the principal of the school. The example I can give you is of a university of German called Code University, and our teachers visited the university to see how their teaching principles can be applied here in Rwanda. Code University officials come here every year to teach our students on how to learn through projects. A student at the Rwanda Coding Academy is fully covered by the government, where the government pays school fees, bed sheets, clothes, and other necessities for daily life. Parents that have children attending the school say they find no ways to describe their happiness about having their children in the school. We don't pay school fees. It is really good, and we are happy and grateful to God, as well as thanking President Paul Kagame. For sure, it's beyond our imagination. Officials in the Ministry of ICT and Innovation say more schools like this are needed in other parts of the country, as well as their establishment is also being considered. The first student to graduate from the Rwanda Coding Academy are eagerly awaited on the job market, but there are also those that will continue their studies at various universities, including those abroad. Gordon Kalema is the Director General of Digital Transformation at the Ministry. There is a team that is helping the school so that it may be able to open doors for those studying in it to continue their studies in university. Some will directly go on job markets where they will be able to start their own companies. The vision is to build other schools like Rwanda Coding Academy in different regions and to emphasize the students to be few in class where there are only 20 students in one class. Mm. At the Rwanda Coding Academy, students are taught computer programming using nine modern and international coding languages so that the programs they develop can be used anywhere in the world. Shislen Mugwaneza, reporting for RTV.